Hi guys, thank you for joining me. So today is Timu Tuesday collab and newbie Timu Tuesday and just regular Timu Tuesday. I'll have it all down below. There's uh, people joining in. I think it's all pretty well the same thing. Just called a few different things. We welcome you to join us. Um, we're going to have like an idea every week, but of course, like let's say you see envelopes this week and you want to make a few or learn how to make some and show that next week. You can play catch up, you can do hauls, you can do your own thing, you can do what we're following. I don't know what we're following, what we're doing next. It wouldn't be another journal element. This week we decided on uh, envelopes. They mentioned tags and journaling cards and stuff, but then I said that I needed scraps before I could do that, right? And so far, and we haven't even cut a lot of this, I have all these pretty scraps ready to go. So this is what I needed to collect before we can do some other stuff, okay? And I've got paper to show you, I've got some envelopes to show you, but I stopped or I'm starting, I guess, with one paper laid out. So, I feel like I have to show you this before I can show you the rest, okay? And a lot of this was just dictated by the paper. So, we are going to make this kind of envelope. The folded in like a diamond one, okay? And I'm going to show you how I did that. While I had this one laid out, I was going to practice and I thought, no, I can show them. So what we did here is we, I measured this and it's pretty close to 8 inches wide. I put it diagonal. This in, is on a line exact with that line. This is a wonky cutting board. It's red. I thought I was getting a red cutting board, but it's like all kinds of metric and 1 to 24 and 1 to 48. I don't know what any of that means. So, I'm just using it for straight lines, okay? So, I measured this. It's just, it's a, it's five and a half by five and a half paper, okay? And width from diagonal to diagonal is pretty close to eight inches. So, we're going to fold this in about two inches on this side, okay? And I will show you that. And to measure this two inches is close to this line, which is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five lines from from the edge of this wonky cutting mat. So don't don't mind the cutting mat. Okay, you can still see what I'm doing. So we okay. So we are gonna fold these in, and so we we have close to eight inches. So we're gonna divide that by four. And then that will ensure that our edges come to the middle, okay? And middle, our middle is a four inch square. So we are taking two inches from each side to fold that in. Hope that makes sense. And on this wonky cutting mat, two inches was about five lines in. So one, two, three, four, five. I didn't bring my, I didn't take down my other desk mat it's it's I double sided taped it to my work area so it didn't scoot when I was trying to cut so we're just using this wonky little one okay but it still has straight lines which is what we need and we can still score this I'm just scoring it right now okay and I just kind of let the pattern dictate what kind of envelope I make now, we need this to come up a little more. I'm going to go ahead and fold that in and show you. Okay, there. And these should meet to the middle pretty well. Let's see if I did it right. I was trying to figure out how I, a way to teach this. So there, you can see those, those points add up perfectly, right? Now, we can't do the same to the bottom. Because then that, then that won't give us anything to glue, right? So what we have to do is we just have to come down some 
I might be able to use where'd the other cut in here. We have to do more than the sides because we have to have enough come up and overlap to glue. And I hope this is making sense, guys. I'm just winging it. I've never made this kind of envelope till this. And then I'm like, I want to make that. Let's figure it out. So we're just going to come up. See, there, there's, there's a line. It's an eighth less than two. No, that's a quarter inch less than on that side of two. So we're just going to score this an extra quarter inch. Okay. Or just that much more. Just a little bit more. Okay. Let me make sure that's straight. Yes. Now we're going to do the same to the other side. And I could have left it down. And, okay. And again, we're just going to cut. This is this will be the top. And again, we're going to come in just a little more than we did. And so we have a little bit of overlap. Okay. Because we don't want any gaps. And if we wouldn't have folded it with overlap, then we would have had gaps. Okay? So this is, uh, now mind you, this is just me figuring this out. Okay? You all, you all do you. But you can see that that comes up pretty close. And then the top will do the same. And pretty close. Okay? Yes? So then what I did for these top bits that stick out that we need to clean up is I just did a curve. Okay? You don't have to be fancy with it. Just get a feel for it and just give it a curve. And then we're going to do the same. And I always start at the fold so that gives me a good edge to my corner. And we're just going to give it a curve. Okay? And that looks pretty close. And then the same on all of them. Both both sides of the fold. We're just we only need to trim away a curve on all of it. And I start at the fold and I lock my scissors up to the edge. Because if you didn't do that, you would just start if you started here, then you would just end up somewhere in the vicinity of that corner. And we want neat corners. So if you fold it and stop your scissors, you come to the edge, uh, the perfect end of the corner. Same thing here. And you might have to fold it up instead of back just to get to just to get your corner. And we're going to curve them. We're going to do all of these the same. And like I said, this one, I need to fold it this way so I can get to the corner. See? And my scissors just stop. Okay, and this one we have to fold it back so we can get neatly to the corner. All right, and you just eyeball it. This is a, a big floral pattern. It's okay. You can make a template or cut them all the same or do, you know, be fancy. But to me, I did this and to me it looked good enough. And let's see, that is our overlap. So those are top and bottom. And it doesn't matter which is the top and which is the bottom. That one's crooked, so we're going to make that the bottom. And I'm going to just snip, snip that off. So it comes here, and then that one, is, it's okay. No, it's, it's okay. We're just going to give that a little more of a pitch so it matches up. And that looks crooked, actually. This, you just nip away at it till it looks right. And those could both use a little a little bit of a pitch coming down. And you won't see this. We're just going to give it a little more of an angle. There. There. So those come out pretty close to the middle there. Okay? And then you would just glue it and... Now this one, it doesn't matter... But I always glue on the bottom flap, the very, the barely the edge of the bottom flap because you'll see why on the other ones in a second. Okay? 
And we don't need to glue the middle, I don't think. There. Okay, and... Okay, we'll just let that dry. And I'm going to put a piece of wax paper in it so it doesn't glue itself shut. How about that? Okay. There. Now it will dry without gluing itself shut. And that's a lovely little envelope, isn't it? So here's another one. And I'm going to do it all again and show you. So here we're just going to start rounding the corners. And uh, real envelopes have this round thing going on. I didn't make that up. I just did it because I, I thought it made sense. And this is probably not, okay, this is probably not a complete beginner envelope. I've got lots of easier ones to show you. Okay, so don't be, don't go, oh God, that's too much, you know, just, it's okay, stay with me, we got, we can do this, and I'm just folding them all, whichever way I need to lock my scissors on the corner, it might, I might have to fold it out, I might have to fold it in, you know, I might get it from the front or from the back, but I have learned to let the, Scissors start at the corner, and then, then then you'll have neat corners, okay? Just lock your scissors in, and you can see this one I folded a couple times, okay? And let's see, okay, there's one. This one I didn't quite get because I was leaving some in case it was... Too much or not enough. So there. Now these I didn't fold all the way in. And this one looks like it could go that way more. Just to line them up a little better. Okay. And then this, I'm just going to mark it with my fingernail to see where to cut that. And I'm just going to cut across the top of them. Let's see how that looks. This side could come down a little more. Sometimes you, the paper's not perfect or something. Sometimes you just got to fix your pitch here. Like, see? That's pretty close now. And again, I'm going to glue on the bottom. Look at my glue. Look what I did, guys. This is cracking me up. I got more glue in a 16-ounce bottle. And instead of... The this ever ready end, always ready end, is on the four ounce bottle. <laughs> and instead of swapping the cap, I mean, instead of filling the four ounce bottle and leaving this cap, I put this always ready cap on the 16 ounce honkin bottle. Ooh, that cracked me up. My daughter said it looked like when she worked at Sam's and then goes to, you know, like when you go to a grocery store and you're like, oh, look at the little, little tubs of margarine or something. She said it cracked her up seeing them next to each other. You know, because I put this glue on this big hunk of, I mean this cap on this big hunk of bottle. It was funny. So there, we're going to do that. So then we're done with that kind of envelope. And I'm going to try to move on. This one was cute. Now I had to refold it so that side would need a piece of washi tape or something, right? So, but this one, the paper was shaped like, like, no, like this. So then I tried to make it, so then it highlighted that on the front of the envelope. Isn't that cute? So, I, so then, now I got an extra fold in it and it's okay. So then what you do is you fold in just a little bit on the side, okay? Then you fold it up, then you fold it down, okay? And this will be our front. And you just decide. It doesn't matter how much space you leave here. It doesn't matter how big your flap is. You know, just start folding. It's okay. 
and then what you do again you start then what you then what you've got is you've got four corner pieces that need to come off number one to make your top flap and number two to make your bottom flap and number three what's left behind is these side flaps that fold in so you can glue the bottom flap up and then it makes a sealed envelope versus just taking an envelope and folding it up the sides this is a little more fancy and it just seals your edge in so again start at the corner and cut a little bit and we know how much we cut just you you might have to trim more you might have to so we're just gonna cut that much and that doesn't look like quite enough so I'm gonna take it another hair okay and we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom there and then we're gonna do the same thing on the top and that that didn't come over much so we're gonna just point your scissors where you want it to end now this angle cannot exceed the width of the flap because then when you fold it up you'll have a gap okay so this angle just has to clean the edge of the gap it can't it just cleans it it doesn't it if you would made this angle too sharp then when you folded it up it would be like this and you would have a gap and you don't want the gap and then what we do here again you fold it the other way start at the corner and angle out and then here you start at the corner and angle out okay then what we've got to do here which I, it's just how I like it it doesn't matter but we want let me fold that under so you can see what I'm talking about so I think it looks better and this is just me you do you but I think it looks better if this angle we're gonna trim away this this piece this corner piece or this folded piece but I think it looks better when this angle is hidden behind okay I'll do one and show you so then that tells us we need to cut you can eyeball it you can measure it you can do what you want so this piece I need to trim I'm gonna fold that flap up so I know where my scissors are right scissors start start at the corner and then I'm just gonna angle my scissors to cut this angle below this top flap but you can't do you can't do it too sharp or you'll have a gap and I will show you that okay there I like that I think that looks great now this one we're gonna to have to fold it this way to see before I was measuring and pointing to stuff but now I can just eyeball it you can measure if you want but I, I want my scissors to cut right below this line so I'm gonna angle my scissors right about here okay you can see that okay so the, there now all that now look at them behind, trimmed tucked behind that flap which I like that look okay but if you leave this pocket way down low you might just have to round those okay now we all know how a corner rounder won't round unless this is square it won't round nicely okay unless this corner is square it's hard to round an angle so then what I use is curvy scissors and then in some of these places I just round the edge okay just barely but I will show you how it makes it look more professional like especially here you can do this or not you do you okay and then I just think it looks neater you don't do much but the corner round these wavy scissors work great so then here is our envelope isn't that pretty and I won't waste your time gluing them and I was gonna make another one but I didn't and we don't need to make another one of those so now here is an idea I had to make 
And I don't think any of these scraps are big enough to use, so we'll pitch them. Because I've been trying to save scraps for other Timu projects. And I'll get rid of the wonky red cutting mat, because it's, it's crazy. So then, I don't need this one either, unless to show stuff, yes. So, then what I had the idea to do was... This was this is exactly what my piece looked like. There's nothing cut off of this yet. Okay? So, I folded the sides in and I folded the bottom up and I folded the top down. Just so we didn't have teeny tiny wonky little envelopes. Then I then I used another piece that I'm just going to piece on the back. How about that? Okay? And we can have it sitting in top inside this flap, or we can have it on top. I kind of like it inside. Okay? Do you like? So then, again, we're going to cut our corners. And we're going to try to match it. Okay? And then, we're going to try to match it. This one doesn't matter because, yeah, I guess it does. You're going to see this one. And then these side ones here, the bottom ones, you don't matter. But you always want to cut away your fold line, your score line, because then that just gets rid of the bulk. Because if you leave your score line, it's still going to have a, a lump in it, you know, from the score. Because the score is room, you know, is thickness, right? Now this one, where are we going to end up here? Let's see. So this one's not much. So... We're just going to just barely angle that. I don't need to measure it. Okay, so we just know, you know, that. Just a little bit. It doesn't take much. Because we know, unless we might have to do it again if it's not big enough. But that's okay. So then, let me glue this one for you and show you. So we're going to glue... We're gonna put this. We're gonna put this bottom flap in front. I know it's it's a little colored, but it's still I still like it better. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna ever so barely with your giant glue bottle. We're going to just ever so barely come along this edge. I'm not even squeezing the bottle because we do not want this coming out. Okay. And then maybe I'm not gonna do the glue stick hack. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rub that along there. Okay? Just to smooth that out. And we'll use wax paper too. So there. Easy. Easy peasy. And see this way you can st you know the paper we get from Timo is like six by six. So then we're going to, we've got the sides, okay? And we're going to center it. We're going to push this up so we know the bottom placement. And we're going to center it. Okay, okay. There. And then our upper trims were just fine. I no I noticed it a minute ago, but I didn't point it out. Sorry. Now here, maybe we want to round these. Just and you'll see. I th I think it looks I think it looks nice. In fact, I've said before, I've done a video on rounding corners like this. And I use this to round corners more so than the corner rounder. But see, doesn't that look neat, rounded? I think it really makes it look nice. And to spread your glue out and get a minuscule amount... You know, you can just do this. Because paper paper really, really, really wants to stick to paper. It, that's its happy place. So it just takes a trace of, of glue to do this. Okay? Now, this one doesn't look like it's cut as much as that one. And we're just visual. I mean, if you need to measure, go ahead. And it looks like I did it too much. No. Okay, yeah, maybe too much. So, there. And we're not going to glue that. And we're going to round these corners too. Now I'm not going to embellish these. But 
I realize I'm making a lot of envelopes. So there. See, I still think that looks nice, even though the pattern changed. But I forgot to show that I, I won this book from Junk Journal Diva. And I put it together and covered it, like last week or whatever. And then I'm just making elements to decorate it. Okay. Now, I've got a couple more to show you, and then we'll quit. Okay, this is, these are more like that. But just let your paper dictate it. Because, now the sides will be folded in. But, I mean, look how pretty that will be as a backing. And then that's the front. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And then here, too, this one is going to be the flap, right? And then... Then this one is going to be the back, and that's going to be the fold up, and then the sides are going to fold in too, but then this will be the back. Isn't that pretty? And then that will be the front, and I don't know which ends up on this. Okay, that is up, so then this needs to be like this. I guess I refolded this one too. Yes, yes. So that needs to be like that. And then that one needs to be like that. And then that will be the front of it. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Then, again, same thing here. I just let the pattern on the paper dictate what I'm doing. And this one, this one I did opposite. Instead of doing that, I did the opposite on the back. I don't know why. I think it was because of the bows or something. Okay. So then there's our bottom. And then the side flaps will fold in and be hidden. Right? I'm not going to waste your time glue, cutting and gluing all this. Okay. And then again, I'm going to let the bottom flap come up on top. I'm kind of copying the idea of a coin envelope and stuff. Because they do that. And then this will be the top flap. Isn't that pretty how that comes down? Okay, and yet again, I did it again, because look at all these papers. Remember my wallpaper haul? I loved all these papers so much, but look how pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay, so then we've got this again, right, right? And then, looky here, guys. Looky here. Okay, now look at this flap, the way it worked out. Looky there. I put the pretty band to be the flap on that side. Isn't that pretty? You know, I could trim some of this off and leave that lower and that would still be fine. So let's do that. Because we don't we don't need the flap to come all the way to the top, right? So I'm just going to cut on that pink line. And these are not my good straight scissors. But it's fine. It's fine. So then this will just come down lower, and it will be like that, and then we've got our top. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I think that's adorable. And I wonder if I couldn't even trim some of that off, but I'm not. Okay, yeah. I'm going to trim just to that one to see if we can't... But like I said, you can you can play with it, you can tweak it, you can you don't have to make every envelope exactly the same. You know, let your paper dictate it, and then that's what turns out pretty, I think. And you're learning. You know, some of these have been folded more than once. You know, I've got extra fold lines in them, but that's what washi's for, right? So let's see how that looks. So we've lowered that down so we can see more of the flap, okay? And then let me center it. And then we folded that up so we could cover that up so, so we could lower it. And then we'll see more of our flap. And look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay? Now here, we can do this. I'll do one of these for you guys. This is like a coin envelope. And it is exactly the same, except you fold in only one side. Okay? And I've already got this cut a lot. 
and then we can we're going to round the corners and this is like a coin envelope and I will show it to you here in a second I want you to see now this one you cut a little bit different because of this angle versus that angle so you just leave this angle sinking below and then this angle covers it and then that's fine it's okay and then right here I'm going to trim the bottom corners okay so then on this one all you do is you fold one side in half inch ish whatever quarter inch it doesn't matter however however much you need okay then you fold the other side over to that leaving just a bit of a gap so we don't want it sticking out the front side you know and then a, a tiny tiny one at the bottom and then your flap bigger and then see we've got it angled and rounded like a coin envelope isn't that fun and then here's this side uh, again I let the paper dictate what what's going on because you well know, I guess I don't have one but you can see what the paper looked like it had um, it had all this trim around the edge and then something in the corner you know those pieces that are made like scrapbook paper with something stuck in the corner that we don't what, what do you do with that you know so this is a way to use those and then this is a way to get a bigger envelope and just piece, you know, the deciding about the paper. Here was a cute one, too, we're going to do. And then this one we could do. This one kind of spoke to me like it could be a coin envelope, too. See how the pattern is offset and stuff? And this one looked like it could be, oh, yeah. This one looked like this would be cute at the flat because it's a, a bow. Okay, we'll do that one first. And I've had two pieces because I was going to show you before and after, but I guess I didn't. Let me score it first. I will score it right at the top of the bow, the very beginning of the green line. Okay, maybe a, a hair more. We'll let the white be the fold instead of the green because we don't want to whoop let me put my blade away so i don't end up cutting something instead of so there yes and how are we going to do this okay we'll do a coin envelope so there and we'll do a center fold coin envelope and then let me get this lined up with that line that'll be good and then we can then we can do <laughs> half inch I don't know why I screwed up okay okay yes I like that okay and then what we're gonna do is these are I'm just I'm trying to give you some dimensions to go by five and a half so five and a half so divided by three let me, I need to get my calculator out so I can tell you. 5.5 divided by 3-ish is 1.83. So it's more than a, 1.83, which is more than 1 and 3 fourths. And we knew that. And 1 and 3 fourths is... Okay, so we are just going to do this. Here's our two inch line. And I mean one inch line. And one and three fourths is not enough. So one side, I want it to be centered. So we're gonna do one and seven eighths on both. And we'll see how, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna do one and seven eighths on one. And then I will measure and see how much we need to do on the other side. Okay? 
So there. Oh, that was too much. Because we need to divide this by four. I'm sorry. It's 1.375. Sorry, sorry. Now you know what not to do. You have to divide this by fourth and then a little bit more to overlap it. So we're going to just do one and a half. So that puts it to right here. I'm sorry. And then we're lined up over here already pretty close. So we're just going to do... We'll do a little under one and a half. Because we know we have extra. Okay. And then our new score is here. Okay. And our other score is here. And that'll be fine. Because this one will overlap. And that is not folded squarely. Okay. Yes. It's still kind of not square enough. You can tweak this. I'm going to bring it in a little more so I have enough to glue. Okay. You can see there's no art to this. You just have to Make it work. And try not to get extra folds, but I already did. So that's okay. And then our bow is centered-ish. Okay. And then we're going to fold up this line. We, had, we have to fold up our lines so we know where to cut our corners neatly, remember? So that, that looks nice. Okay. So then this, we're going to just cut down to that peach line to get them even. And sometimes on overlapping folds, it kind of throws it off center. So then you might have to tweak on your lines so they match up. And that goes about to there. Okay, that, that line there is close. And to get your cuts even, you put your scissors where you want it to be. And I will show you what I mean. So I just want to cut up. This is going to be the bottom, and it doesn't care. It doesn't matter. Here, we're just trimming. You won't see this. So here, we're just trimming away the, the score. So then what I'm doing is literally driving the end of my cut with placing my scissors there. So you don't have to guess. We've got it locked up here, and then we've got our scissors lined up right there. Same thing. We've got our scissors locked in here, and we know we need to come close to the edge. Okay? Now you're going to see this bottom flap because we're going to make it like a coin envelope and the bottom flap on coin envelopes comes out in front of the side flaps. So there I cut it. I'll just eyeball it. So there we know we're coming to the side of that pink. So those should be pretty close and they're not. Let me cut that a, a hair more. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to round stuff. Right, right. And then we've got to cut our flap. Let's see if my dots will work. No. And then... We just need to come over. That one's too much, so we're going to come over to this side of that dot. And that's, that's pretty close. I'm okay with that. Okay, now we got a round, right? Right? And you guys, this one's going to be cute. Looky there. Then you can decide which one you want on top. I don't like the leaves on top. I like that flower. I like that. Okay, let's glue. How much glue room do I have? Just a trace. And the bottom. Okay. 
We're making some cute envelope, guys. I think this is going to be a successful Timu Tuesday for the first week. Cute, cute. I got another piece of yeah. I've learned to keep a stash of wax paper in here for st stuff like this that I don't want. That I don't want. You know, like you don't want to glue an envelope shut, right? Look how pretty, guys! Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. And we need to do something with this. Or do y'all get the idea? Okay, we'll make one more. I don't know if I showed you a regular one. Okay. So we're going to line that up. And we are just going to cut in half inch on both sides. And you'll have to tell me if this helped, if it was too much, what I need to do different, or how I need to, I, when, I, when I share stuff, I really, really hope. And my, my main goal is I'm not trying to grow my channel or nothing. I like sharing ideas and how I've learned how to do stuff and maybe it's easier than you knew or maybe it's maybe it's harder I don't know I need to know that too like girl you need to you you probably need to watch a tutorial or two and look how they do it they made it easier okay that don't that we can do that oh no no what am I doing I'm making a regular envelope Just a little skinny wide one, just to be cute. Since this pattern is so adorable, we need this pattern on the flap for sure, right? See, some of these patterns, especially this wallpaper, just worked out to be... Okay, so that's going to be my flap down, right? So then I need to bring this up under that, right? See, that's how I do it. And I want this to look big, so we're gonna we're not gonna fold it all the way, and it doesn't have to. You know, it just has to go up under the flap. It doesn't matter if you do it all the way or not. And now, looky there. Now I don't need to. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Have I shown you a regular envelope versus all the other ones? Okay, there. I don't even know if I've shown just a regular one. Sorry, we'll just do one more real quick, and I'll shut up and get it done quick so y'all can see. Now you walk through in your head what I'm doing. Now she's cutting, she's trimming, you know. If you can kind of understand where I'm going next, then... You know, then you'll remember it and you'll work it out for yourself. See what I'm saying? Now this one won't show. So I'm just trimming a little I'm just trimming the fold away. Because that's bulk. Mm, and and I said I was okay, now looky here. How much room we have? So we, we're not going to fold this, we're not going to trim this one all the way under there. That's too much. We could in, sometimes if you trim these too much, you end up with a bald spot on the side when you go to fold down this. Like if you, like if you cut the top at a, a, a bigger angle than this, if you cut this at a sharper angle, then you will end up with a bald spot in the middle. So for here, what we're going to do is we're just going to trim a lot, a little bit, just to the, just to the dot. And I can't, I can't see it, but I know how much it is. We're just going to trim just, uh, let me see, just that much. And this side needs a little more because... And this paper's thin, and I scored it too much there, so it's splitting. But this is another where another place that rounding corners helps, and then it helps it look finished. And that one's not quite round. Okay.
in here, in here. And I'm going to patch that because I tore it. Let's see if we can do that with hiding it. Nope. Because because we we angled it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna glue this sucker down on the inside, and it'll be okay. You'll see. You might have to do some repair along the way. I don't know. I guess I was a little aggressive in scoring that. Because this paper, some of it is pretty thin. But that's fine, though. I, I told someone else, I mean, like, okay, you're going to glue it down on another piece of paper. How thick does it need to be? You know, it's, it doesn't matter if it's a little thin. You know? Because you're just going to glue it down... To another piece of paper you know it's okay if it's too thin if it's thin paper because I mean how much bulk do you want we don't need everything to be like cardstock you know and I need to I need to shove it over that side to hold that side flat. I don't know why I was centering it I need it over here to hold Now that will hold that side flat. Okay? Now look how pretty. Now that got cut there. What the hell? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut. That finished it pretty, didn't it? And I need to fix uh, that because it cut. I don't know how or why it cut. Did anybody see that? How it cut? What happened? getting washy in case you didn't know where I went. I'm just going to have to patch this with some washi. Because I cut it. Just being crazy, I guess. You all probably saw it. And I want that centered. So we're going to waste some. And that's so there. And I just run it over glue stick because I used to. It was a, it was stupid. I know. I used to keep my. It looked pretty. <laughs> I used to keep my washi lined up in the window sill, and now I know that was a really stupid thing to do. And we will center that along there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now looky here, how I trim washi. You'll like this. Unless you already know this. If you don't, you're welcome. So you just... Now I need that to come off of of the edge there. So I'm, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. I mean, trim it at the end of there. So I don't have part of this yellow thing sticking out. And... Well, this side's different. So that's okay. We'll just end right there. Okay? Because it wasn't exactly centered. But see, that's pretty... And we just fixed it. That's fine. That's fine. Add some cuteness to it. And then we fixed it there. We fixed it a lot. Tore that one up. I was proud of that one too. I thought it was adorable. It still is. It still is. So then we've got two of these. 
with the paper dictating cuteness on the flap. We've got this one with the bow on the flap, and it's a coin envelope. We've got this one, which is pieced together to make a bigger envelope. We've got this corner fold. We've got this corner fold. See how easy that was? We've got these bigger ones with the piecing and all of these were dictated by the papers and there and there and look how cute that one is isn't that perfect i love it and this other coin envelope folded on the side instead of in the middle but they're both coin envelopes okay which I think they're great. I really like that shape too. I was telling Regina, like this coin envelope shape, right? And then to kind of get a different shape. And then, you know, this could be close. This is pretty close to be in a library pocket then if you put the seam on the side. Because library pockets don't have a seam in the middle. But, you know, that's pretty close to be in a library pocket. If you had some kind of book pages or tickets or paper or something that lets you do that. You know? That made sense. And let's see. Anything else? This one is going to be the same as the piece together back. Which I haven't done it yet. Oh, I made this one yesterday. Just folding it. Isn't that cute? And I guess we're done. This was another... Yes. And then these are all the pages I have from the paper sets I have from Timu. This was 50 pieces. These are a bargain. Let me know if you need these. The link to these because they are 24 sheets. Nice weight. Says 160 GSM. It's, 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 I, I don't know if I'd call it cardstock. You know, the good, the good, you know, like bow bunny scrapbook paper. It's that. And um, these were only 208 for a sheet, a pack of 24 sheets. So that's cheap. These are all of my wallpapers. You all know how much I love the wallpaper. I was just eight up in that haul video. One, two, three. I got six packs of them. And they are, or, uh, let me they're thin. But I, I don't know how many pages. They're 140 by 140. And it uh, I don't I don't see how many pages. But golly, I just love these so much. And a, a lot of these, oh, 30 sheets. Maybe three of each. Ten designs, three of each. 30 sheets. And they were cheap too. And um a lot of these just lent themselves perfectly to this project. I mean, it just turned out so many neat ones. And like I said, I let the paper dictate them, you know? Like, here's here's an envelope. Look how perfect that is, even though we patched it. It's still perfect, you know? And the corner fold, you know? That's perfect. That, that really looks like an envelope. And when you can see here, the curved corners look nice. And down here. Maybe you can't. Okay. So, I think that's all. Happy Tumu Tuesday. Collab and newbie. And, um, I will have everything listed down below. And please join us, guys. We need more people to join. It'll be fun. We've all got all this Timu goodness that we need to start using, okay? And tell us what you want to see, too. And follow the hashtags, okay? Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.